Welcome to Airborne on staugustine.com. I'm Matt Jeffs, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. I want to welcome to Airborne Dr. John Vassallo. Dr. Vassallo, how are you, sir? Thanks for having me over. It's good to have you. Thank Uh, you. It's great to uh, finally get a chance to meet with you and talk with you. Uh, You're an MD, correct? Yes, yes I am. And the founder of the Vassallo Eye Institute? Correct. Now, Vassallo Eye Institute, tell us a little bit about it. How long have you been in existence? And Um, I opened up my practice in 1992, both here and in Palak at the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh, We specialize in all kinds of uh, eye care. Uh, from eye exams to glasses to surgery. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have several lasers in the office. We do the most advanced cataract surgery, as well as treatment for glaucoma and diabetes and uh, macular degeneration. Now, you mentioned lasers. There are a lot of different lasers out there, aren't there? Yes. Laser is just an amplification and focusing of the light. Mm -hmm. Some lasers uh, cause burning. Other lasers cause uh, vaporization. Mm. Uh, Other lasers are like mini explosions and cause uh, tissues to separate. Now, you're describing burning and many explosions. And we're talking about the eye. This te- we're talking about some very touchy technique, isn't it? You have to be well-skilled at this, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. But we're also talking about um, energy being used over such a small distance that when you talk of explosions, um, you could put your hand in front of the laser um, and you wouldn't feel it. However, when you're talking about an area the size of maybe 10 red blood cells, um, it has quite an effect. Wow, I didn't realize yeah. it was so pinpoint accurate. Yes, I guess it yes. has to be, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, this is something that one would be surprised to hear that this is available right here in St. Augustine, St. John's County, huh? Sure, sure. We're state of the art here. We have all, all the lasers and all the equipment for diabetes, glaucoma, and um, macular degeneration. Uh, we do the eye exams. We do the advanced cataract surgery right here at the local uh uh, surgery center, mm-hmm. and there's really no reason to leave town because everything's here. You're an advanced cataract surgeon. What does that mean? Uh, we do the most advanced surgery techniques, which um, includes cataract surgery without shots or stitches. Uh, we put the, we use the most smallest incisions. Um, we use foldable lenses, and we um, specialize in using the uh, the new crystal lens and restore implants, which may eliminate your glasses for both distance and near at the same time. What are some of the results people have Came, come back to you and told you that were gratifying. What are some of the things you well, hear? It's life changing. Some people can come in and um, if they're good candidates for the procedure, may never wear glasses ever for distance wow. or near or, or anything in between. That yeah. has to be gratifying. Um, when you're young, usually you can see distance and near if you don't need glasses. Mm-hmm. Um, usually when you get in your 40s or so, you have to start wearing reading glasses. And after 40, LASIK, which does away with your need for glasses, um, may not work for distance and near. And the same, that's the reason why we all start wearing reading glasses after 40. But with the newer implants, it can restore your vision back the way it was when you were younger, where you don't need glasses for distance or near um, if you're a good candidate and uh, you have realistic expectations. So, Who are typical Vassalo Eye Institute uh, patrons? Are they, uh, is there such a thing? Is it 8 to 80, uh, all ages, or how would you describe it? We see everyone in the office, from children to the elderly. Um, yeah, you know, our, our, our group of people that we see are just like families, and we have little pockets of, you know, this neighborhood or that neighborhood or this church group or that church group, and, right? you know, and they go out and tell their friends, and they all come in, and it's just, you know, sometimes I have a hard time getting people out of the waiting room because they're always talking to each other and catching up. <laughs> Ask them, stand to one side, please, okay. there's somebody coming in. Wow, that's uh, got to be gratifying also that you get kind of get to know these people on a neighborhood level mm-hmm. or a church group level or a, even families, huh? Right. And it's very rewarding when you someone comes in with uh, poor vision or, uh, from cataracts or another disorder and you fix their eyes and they may not need glasses after that and they're... You know, you change their lifestyle, mm-hmm. and they're very happy, which, you know, makes it very easy to come to work. You know, I enjoy my job, and I enjoy changing people's lives, and, you know, we're like one big happy family. That's terrific. Uh, you know, I hear terms, and maybe you can straighten them out for me. I hear laser, and then I hear LASIK. Those are not the same things, are they, or what's well, the difference? LASIK is a procedure that reshapes the cornea. It um, either uses a laser or a, a device called a microkeratome to flip a a piece of the cornea out and reshape the cornea and the flap comes back. Mm -hmm. It uses one type of laser called an eczema laser to reshape the cornea. Mm. But there are other types of lasers, like I mentioned before, there's an argon laser which treats by sealing and cauterizing. There's the YAG laser which, like I said, uses a mini explosion to kind of open up cloudy membranes and restore your vision uh, that sometimes happen after cataract surgery. 
Uh, what are some advances that uh, we might be seeing in the next few years? Anything? It's hard to see. A lot's changing now. There's a lot of um, genetic uh, research going on. And one of the biggest breakthroughs recently is in macular generation. There's two types. There's a wet type and a dry type. What is that? And you know, what happens is the retina doesn't clear out its byproducts of metabolism, mm -hmm. and it kind of builds up in the back of the eye. And the retina is like the film in a camera. So if the film is bad in the camera, the picture is bad. And that's what happens with macular degeneration. As it progresses, the film gets worse and the picture gets worse. And there's two types, a dry type and a white type, mm -hmm. and, a, and a wet type. When mm -hmm. the wet type develops, blood vessels quickly grow into the retina and takes your vision away very quickly. Mm -hmm. In the past, we would do laser to try to control that thing, but whenever a laser hits in the back of the retina, it leaves a blind spot. Mm -hmm. So even though you may have had good vision, it would wait till your vision was bad before they did the laser. Mm -hmm. Now they have these new... Um, uh, chemicals and they're called growth factors or anti-growth factors and what they do is they inject it into the eye which cause the wet macular degeneration um, vessels to disintegrate without leaving the scar of the laser. So these people who would go blind with mac wet macular degeneration before now are, see their vision restoring. Now it doesn't work forever, they may have to have repeat injections but that's been one of the, the greatest breakthroughs recently. Mm -hmm. um, the other great breakthroughs I think are the crystal lens and the restore lens which allow the cataract people to, uh, after surgery, see without glasses for distance and near. Uh, cataract surgery has progressed quite a bit over the last 20, 30 years. You used to have to use a large incision and take the lens out of one big piece. There was lots of stitches um, that caused uh, astigmatism or unequal shape of the eye, which required glasses and a frequent changing of glasses. As uh, techniques have developed, a new technique called phaco emulsification was used, which rather than take the cataract out in one big piece, uh, ultrasound probe um, kind of jackhammers it out and sucks it out to a very small incision only about an eighth of an inch and then the in intraocular lenses we put in the eye were developed to fold and go through those small incisions and uh, so much um, improvement is that by increasing the, the incision size uh, we can just get by with using topical eye drops and some IV sedation and get your cataract out and, you know in five or ten minutes on the table which used to take you know half hour to an hour with the old technique. Plus with a smaller incision and no stitches, um, the way the wound is, is uh, architected, it's almost like a ball valve, uh, it's a safer technique. And rather than taking months to see, you see within, you know, within days. So it's, it's a real breakthrough there too. That's astonishing. Um, uh, if folks want to learn more about Vasalo Eye Institute, what's the best way they can uh, contact you? Um, they can go on our website, mm -hmm. which is www.drvasalo, it's D-R-V-A-S-S-A-L-L-O, uh, .your, M-D, it's Y-O-U-R-M-D, dot com. Or you can call either one of the offices at 904-797-7722 or 386 uh, 328-1658. John Vassallo, MD. Thank, Thank you, you so Thanks much for, for coming me. in. Real Appreciate pleasure. It. I learned a lot today. Thanks for having it's me. It's great. He's the founder of the Vassallo Eye Institute, and you've been airborne with Matt Jeffs on staugustine.com, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. See you next time, everybody. Rock.